outside hazard is to be that beacon of light in their lives. Okay. At this point forward, they're responsible for that. Yes. You can love them for a distance, and you can do and have what Yah has set aside for you. Hallelujah. Thank I'm, you for that. Yes, sir. I'm very grateful for the message you brought today. Appreciate you. Uh, um, I'm praise uh, the most high. Uh, people check it out online. It was yeah. live. The brother is amazing. It was, it was definitely a message brought by the most high Yah. I'm grateful for it to be in this congregation of HCA. HCA. And, um, all right, can you tell people your name and also let them know what did you get from this message that you heard today? Okay, so my name is Shadaya, and um, what I got from the message is um, about the lots in, in, in my life and how to kind of evaluate whether they were assets or liabilities to me. And um, it was really just a confirmation from the Most High as I started evaluating the people that I surround myself with. And as a mother, we talked about, you know, kind of intervening for our children when sometimes we need to have a hands-off approach and allow the Most High to deal with them. But sometimes when we step in, similar to the way Abraham stepped in and brought Lot with him, then there are repercussions and consequences of those actions. Even though we think we're protecting our loved ones, sometimes we have to let go and allow the Most High to move in so you know just having you know it's just understanding the different types of lots mm. in your life mm. um, was very um, uh, was a big revelation for me and um, I really enjoyed the message and uh, the teaching and it's something that I can I, I could immediately access in my life and be able to know and then another one was just kind of a testimony of how the Most High uses his people and his remnant to be able to be a blessing mm. to other people so on my new job he's really given me favor and um, he's allowed me to have a shorter commute to work and then he's allowed me to be a blessing to the people there and so I've been um, actually asked to be in leadership positions where I have not in the past mm -hmm. and um, and so really understanding that that is of the most high because normally I want to be behind the scenes yeah, yeah, yeah. instead of up front so awesome. you know if you have lots in your lives please evaluate your assets and liabilities and just begin to listen to the most high to be able to change your circumstances I know for me the takeaway I'm going to start praying more for me mm. as opposed to interceding yeah, for exactly. a lot of those other exactly. people because I really have been missing out on the, the nourishment that the Most High wants to give me because I've been giving it out to so many other people. Awesome. Thank yeah. you so much, Shad. I appreciate that. <laughs> and we want to say shalom to the people. Say shalom. 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 And we'll see you again. Hallelujah. Tell people your name and what did you get back from this message? So people, shalom. I say power to the people, peace, blessings and love, Brother Uzi. The message was powerful, man. It was uh, talking about the lots in your life, the liabilities. And sometimes, you know, it makes you, this message actually makes you reevaluate yourself to see if you're that lot. Because sometimes, <laughs> yeah, everybody's looking at the story, exactly, you're looking for their lot. Because what happens, everybody's like, hold, hold up, man, I know some things going on in my life, and I know, all right, who is it? It could be my mom, it could be my brother, it could be my sister, but sometimes this particular message made you think, like, hold on, time out, it, could, it really could be me. So it's really, it, it was a powerful message. It just made it, it makes you really evaluate yourself and get within yourself to see what you need to correct in your life and see what you need to get rid of and even if you need to revamp yourself. So mm -hmm. I really appreciate the message, man. Appreciate you, uh, brother Ron. It's yeah, always HDA. a blessing. Appreciate it, my brother yeah. Uzi. I always enjoy the message and we looking forward for your next one. You'll get it. You know, I have to say that your message today really changed my life. What you taught about how we have been praying to uh, y'all for other people rather than ourselves. And I have spent my whole life praying to y'all, uh, praying for my children, never for myself. And they have excelled. They have benefited from my, my prayers. And I always felt why, the question was, why are they doing a hundred times better than I am? Now I understand from based on what you taught, all of my blessings were going to them because I was praying to them constantly. Every single day, not a day goes by that I didn't pray for them. And I never prayed for myself. But you know what? From today's lesson, I'm taking the blessings back.